One researcher said today that a new treatment for paralysis could be a game changer. It involves doctors zapping a patient's spinal cord with electricity, and in four cases out of four, the patient has been able to stand briefly and move his legs. While it is not a cure, doctors say it can give paralyzed people much more independence, and our doctor, John LaPook, has a look. In 2010, Dustin Shilcox was in a car accident that left him paralyzed from the chest down. I never had any progress back as far as movement or any signs to know that I would have any movement or walk again. This is the, the remote control for it, it's a stimulator box. But since implantation of a spinal cord stimulator over a year ago, he can move his legs and, and wiggle his toes. It. I'll bring my leg back while I'll try. <laughs> that is amazing. It. Were you able to just think, okay, move? Yeah, when I think to, to move my leg or toe or my ankles, it's when I'm turned on, I can do it. So it's, it's, really, uh, it's really exciting and it's, it's definitely different, but it's, it's really cool. Spinal injuries disrupt nerve pathways that come from the brain and initiate movement. In this study, researchers implanted an electrical stimulator at the base of the spine. When it's turned on, impulses are emitted that appear to awaken injured or dormant nerve pathways. Shilcox still can't walk and has no feeling from the chest down. But researchers were surprised he could move his legs by thinking. Dr. Claudia Angeli led the team. What we're doing is waking up the, the spinal cord and allowing it to be ready to receive a signal from the brain. Shilcox is one of four patients who are now able to voluntarily move their legs with the help Left of the device. The technology was first tried three years ago when researchers working with the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation announced that Rob Summers, a paralyzed former baseball player, was able to move his legs. What's it like to you? It's, it's, um, it's a miracle for me. I mean, when I can move my legs when I'm not supposed to. You have to love the look on Dustin's face. Right. What are the possibilities here? Dr. Angeli told me she never expected in a million years for the device to actually seem to restore connection between the brain and the muscles. So all bets are off. We really don't know. She's going to recruit four more patients. She's trying to expand it to other institutions. But she said to me, even if everything goes right, this is still years away. How many years? She didn't know. She said it's up to the FDA and how lucky they are with their research. But it's not like in the next couple of months. We'll see. John, thanks very much.